going on YouTube and Google. I'm going to try something different today. I'm going to do a new segment um, where I pick a uh, post, a, a public post on Google and uh, read it and comment on it. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it uh, really interesting Google Plus post of the week. Alright, so let's get to it. Rig Putwa Rig Putwa Rig Putwa This first Google Plus post comes from Krista Laser. Pew, pew. Alright, and she writes, it's demeaning, and it is precisely the gateway to harassment that drives women away from online communities. We have a responsibility as early adopters to create a respectful, caring community where everyone feels welcome. If it is acceptable in the community to post a photograph of cleavage, it becomes okay to comment on it with sexual jokes than to comment on a photograph of a woman in the G plus community with a sexual joke. And then with sexual comments that are not jokes, if left unchecked, an online community that tolerates harassment against women can become dangerous for women, professionally and physically. So, here's what I think. What I got from the post and how I, I interpreted the post is we shouldn't um, post any pictures that leaves the floor open for a dirty comment. The, the dirty comment would then lead to other things and blah 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 blah. Right? So, how I interpreted that was it doesn't just stop at photographs of uh, cleavages, butt cracks and whatnot. Um, it uh, extends further to, oh, excuse me, it extends further to any photograph that could leave the floor open for a dirty comment. Um, so, what I want to ask you is, what do you think about these? Hmm? See, what I think is, to me, they're both the same, right? Now, when you took these photographs originally, and by the way, these photographs were uh, uh, public, I, I didn't have you in my circle, you didn't have me in your circle, but I was able to grab them, right? Um, now, you may not have had the, you know, the intentions or the initial intention to, to receive dirty comments, but I could give you a dirty comment. I could give, not you, but the, the picture. I could give the pictures a dirty comment. Any, anyone can, right? It, it's, it's the way you look at it. It's the way you posted it. It's the way it's... If you posted it in, in, in a certain way, then uh, let's say, let's say you, you were to post it uh, uh, to compliment a joke, then people could uh, give you a dirty comment, right? So it, it's, it's all how you look at it. It, it. it may not have been the initial intention, but it's all how you look at it. Um, you could still receive a dirty comment even if it wasn't uh, there to compliment a joke. Hmm? It's just how someone else may interpret it. Right. So what I want to know is what do you think? What do you think the difference is between those pictures and photographs of cleavages, which, uh, when complimenting a joke, would receive a dirty comment? Hmm? What makes you think that uh, those photographs won't receive a dirty comment? So that's that's just that, that's all I want to know. So that concludes the first episode of really interesting Google. Post. Uh, I really gotta change that. So that concludes the first episode of Blah Blah Blah. Check you guys later. Eh.